things happen faster <laughs> and how i like it good afternoon guys because it's 12 o'clock welcome back to another video my name is lori if you are new here i am a family nurse practitioner and i talk primarily nursing on my channel oh my son is making all sort of noise but in today's video i'm going to be talking to you guys about the nursing home setting versus working in the hospital setting i have a lot of videos on my channel days in the life and come to work work with me pretty much days in the life i title them and i have a playlist i'm going to link it here here i don't know and in the description box but i figure i'm gonna sit down and kind of talk through what i do for real in both areas and which one i prefer i work this weekend i don't think you guys you guys might see the vlog for this weekend before i post this video and if you if you see that vlog you're gonna know i had such a crazy weekend like i said it's 12 o'clock i am drinking my coffee of course let's get started so if you guys don't know i primarily work in a nursing home setting so I see majority 90% of my patients is in a nursing home setting I am also wound care specialized and the patient that I see for wound care are also in a nursing home setting but on the weekends one week in a month I do round in the hospital and you know when I first got this position there was a lot of reasons why I didn't want this position one of the main reasons was the wound care the second reason was the nursing home I never saw myself working in a nursing home setting but uh, fast forward two years I'm still here for the nursing home setting I have patients that I myself and my boss we are the primary team that takes care of these patients. We care for the patient's entire medical needs, their chronic illnesses. There are three types of patients that come into the nursing home setting. The first set, they come there for acute stay, which means they might be in the hospital, probably had surgery, like if grandma is at home, fell, had hip surgery, and need to go to a facility for more rehabilitation. Then you have the long-term care patients that this is where they live. They've been there for years, this is their home, this is where they reside and then you have a third set of patients that come to the nursing home and those patients come there for three days five days seven days yeah that's what i said it's called respite care now respite care is when you have a loved one at home and you are the caregiver and you are basically tired or you need to go on a little vacation or take a break you can bring the patient to the nursing home setting and the patient stays there for three days five days seven days for you to take a break insurance pay for this sometimes family have to pay for this sometimes and if they assign the patient to um, our team we take care of the patients for the seven days so that is the three sets of patients that are are there my primary role as a nurse practitioner in the nursing home setting and if you're an NP you probably will agree with this is to keep the patients from being admitted to the hospital multiple times I realized that I still have this tag on my plant because I bought it the other day I forgot to take the tag off and I literally just looked oh that's funny look how much I paid can you guys see that TJ Maxx my primary role as a nurse practitioner in these type of setting is keeping the patient pretty much out of the hospital and everything has to do with reimbursement and everything has to do with money so you don't want to continuously send the patient to the hospital all the time you need to be able to manage the patients as best as you can in the facility but honestly sometimes you cannot keep the patient in the nursing home setting like sometimes the nursing home just cannot handle some of the things that is going on with the patient and this is why i do get annoyed and frustrated with some of the directors of nursing in some of these in these some of these facilities because their bottom line is to keep the patients there because they know about the reimbursement and the money aspect and, and sometimes i think the line is blurred it annoys me sometimes and i have got into multiple arguments with some of them <sighs> that's the nature of the job when when it comes on to taking care of patients like i said i'm managing their chronic illnesses hypertension diabetes high cholesterol if anything acutely happens with them i'm taking care of that i'm managing that i am the provider if the patient falls at 2 a.m in the morning and the nurse deemed that i should be notified at 2 a.m in the morning she's gonna call me at 2 a.m in the morning and say lori your patient fell um 
and I deal with it. Lab values, everything, I'm the one that is handling all of that. I also will talk to insurance companies from a time to time basis because a lot of times patients will appeal their case if they are supposed to be discharged and we feel that, the, you know, even the family will say they're not ready to be discharged but insurance is cutting them from the facility. A lot of times the insurance company will say, well, I need to talk to the physician to find out why the physician is saying that the patient needs my hand is shaking i'm gonna put this down <laughs> i'm sorry hold on i'm literally i just said let me just sit on the ground for this one but if you hear noise my husband is at home working from home my kid is here so i'm very sorry about that but anyways the insurance company will say well we need to talk to the physician because we need to find out why is it that this patient needs to stay there nine times out of ten trust me the insurance company is going to deny it i have been in numerous of phone calls with the insurance company and the insurance company have their own physicians and their own physician is grilling you to ask you why should the patient stay to get more rehab and sometimes i feel this is where i kind of get frustrated because you have people who are pushing paper and just looking at paper but um, we are there physically looking at the patient and we know the patient needs more time and they need more physical therapy or stuff but there is nothing that i can do if the, the if the insurance company say listen no we're not paying for this so i do also take part in that when it comes on to the hospital setting and i have said this multiple times on my channel the hospital does not hire me i am under my physician and all of that that's how I am actually at the hospital you know so when I go to the hospital and I run the hospital setting for me is I feel like that's where I want to be and the reason why I say that that's where I want to be is because things happen faster <laughs> and how I like it because in a nursing home setting I can order stat labs on a patient and it'll take 12 hours for me to get the results of those stat labs I can't order a stat chest x-ray and it'll take 10 hours you know what I mean and um, by the time they come with the result the patient probably is already having issues and that is the reason why I use my judgment a lot of the time and and say send the patient to the hospital because I know if I wait on this lab result and if I'm thinking it is something really bad going on with this patient I'm delaying treatment for the patient in a hospital setting yes you're in the hospital you have all sorts of um, entities there we have x-ray we have MRI we have everything the lab it comes like this everything is fast everything comes you know quicker and when you are rounding in the hospital one of the things I like as well is the fact that I don't have to worry about about uh, the different specialty we are consulting a lot of different people pretty much when i go to the hospital because we are the primary care team we typically do the hmps and admit patient and discharge patients and stuff like that so say for instance a patient comes to the hospital patient comes to the hospital for say chest pain patient is in the er the er do the, the work up on the patient the er do an ekg they see that it looks like the patient probably gonna have an mi we do troponin troponins are high patient is still and chest pain all of that the er deemed that the patient needs to be admitted so i go i do the hmp for the patient i start now following up on the different things that the er ordered for the patient this is what i like about the hospital i'm gonna come in and i'm going to start looking at the patient's entire the entire picture of what's going on with the patient and i'm gonna order cardiology consult so this is one one reason why i love i love 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 the hospital cardiology consult cardiology is going to start taking care of all of that when it comes on to the patient so say for instance another patient is there the patient start having confusion order a uacns if the urinalysis comes back positive yes i will definitely order um some antibiotics you know to kind of empirically treat the patient and i still wait for the culture if the culture comes back and tell me that the antibiotic that i'm using is resistant i can change the antibiotic but if there is an issue like i had a patient the other day who had chronic uti and she was resistant to a whole lot of things guess what i'm gonna do i am going to consult id <laughs> so do you see what i mean consult 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 <laughs> and i like that about the hospital because i feel like um number one like i said everything is quicker and i like things that are quicker uh 
I do. I like things that move kind of swiftly because I think it's delaying patient care. And then I feel like that's not my, I'm a family nurse practitioner. Yeah, we touch on this, we touch on that, but I feel like that's not my expertise. Pretty much that is what my roles are that I take on in the nursing home setting versus the hospital setting. I don't do any procedures in the hospital. I have had that question before. I really like the hospital setting. And I feel that in the hospital setting also, if I'm on like a service, nobody calls you at home. The phone calls that you get as a nurse practitioner working with nursing home patients are endless and crazy sometimes. And it's like back to back to back to back to back to back. Doesn't matter what time of night or day, it doesn't matter. I think that's one area too that you have to take into consideration. I just wanted to make this quick little update type video and just kind of talk you guys through the nursing home setting versus the hospital setting. If you are looking at both areas, nothing is wrong with starting off in a nursing home setting. Honestly, um, I was very blessed, I will say, to get this position because this position position exposed me to nursing home, hospital, wound care, and the office. So yeah, that is pretty much it guys. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are if you work in hospital as a nurse practitioner. What do you like best about it? What do you like best about nursing home? Oh, I will say the nursing home though, the flexibility is amazing because I can go whatever time I want to go to see patients. So that is also a big nice plus when it comes on to working in a nursing home. All right guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll catch you guys up. Bye.